Pokemon meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. Now watch the video show in the next episode, Ask Pit Pie. Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you, my series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash mnjtv, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon <coughs> Meme Review. I am spooky and festive today, because this is the last meme review before Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you, and that's all I got. Let's dive into the memes. Calyrex's loyal steed was a Galarian Rapidash, horn covered in ice, same pointy ears, long hair near the hooves, same shape as Spectriers. Oh, those are a lot of the same shape. Froze to death. <laughs> My theory is that Calyrex's loyal steed was a Galarian Rapidash. The Rapidash got lost and froze to death, splitting it into the two Pokemon, the Frozen Corpse and the Ghost. Fascinating. I wonder if their sizes are similar. The three horsemen of Pokemon you can't mention, it's your favorite. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Pokemon, we've got Luchadors of France, Napoleon Bonaparte of Japan, Hydra of USA, Igloos of Hawaii, Samurai General of Spain, and Kung Fu Bears of England. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey, it's a diverse franchise. Little guys, idolizing somebody stronger than them. A bit of a crush on the player. Obsessed and unstable. Oh. <laughs> I've seen some interesting theories about that, how when he like punches the monument, that's what triggers him to like kind of get unhinged. Like a toxic chain embedded in his brain or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's strictly because Gallade was not added at the same time as Gardevoir. That was it. So Larry, normal types are your thing. Are they a childhood favorite? No, oh, I grew up in a world with no Pokemon. Well, it was a video game. Eh? I grew up in a place called Japan in business. One day a Pokemon themed truck hit me. <laughs> Larry got isekai'd? <laughs> I woke up here in Paldea and got another job. You'd think waking up in a whole new world of whimsy would change you, but no matter where you go, you'll always bring yourself. Oh, I have to go file Pokemon taxes. Good luck on your writing assignment. <laughs> that's, that's fun. I mean, it's not that fun. Kind of sad, but it's amusing. One of them is not like the others. I can tell. People, Charizard has too many forms. Me. I mean, technically, those are all different Pokemon. Not all, it's three different Pokemon. But yeah, that family has gotten a lot too. Why not use Pokemon? We've got four Pokemon four times weak to Stealth Rock. Yeah. Why is Rock such an OP type offensively? I don't know if it's an OP type offensively. Like, there's like basically no 100% accurate Rock moves. <laughs> Carmen, I'm going to have some real good fun with you. Coming back from Kitakami, you didn't dare battle any other girls over there, did you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's basically Nimona, but like, mean. Haha, <laughs> -ha, it is I, Grunty boy. And dude, I have to ask you, has your autumnal season been as crazy busy as mine? Oh my gosh, yes. It's like September hits and everything goes crazy. Same, as the running back of my football team, all these games and practices have me swamped. Wait, since when are you a running back? But I have a solution that might help you because it's helped me. Factor, the sponsor of today's video. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals right to your front door. These dietitian approved meals are created by gourmet chefs and are ready to eat in just two minutes. Whoa, seriously? That'd be huge. That saves a ton of prep time. It does, but it also helps with the stress of choosing your meals. You can select from their weekly updated options or let them curate the meals for you rather than stressing about the planning and shopping yourself. I love that. My least favorite part of adult life is having to figure out what I want for dinner pretty much every day and then having to actually make it happen. And don't even get me started on the stress and time of grocery shopping. Oh yeah, Factor has astronomically decreased the amount of time and stress of my meals during this busy season, allowing me to do so without having to eat junky fast food, keeping me scoring touchdowns and electrifying the thousands of fans in the stadium. Thousands? Stadium? What team do you play for? Head to factor75.com or click the link in the description below and use code MJTV50 to get 50% off your first box. I will definitely sign up, but please explain the running back thing. Oh, I play for the Celadon Rockets and we're very good. It's amazing how easy it is to avoid being tackled when you're experienced avoiding the law. Ta-ta! I actually thought this was a wild Lunala and used my Master Ball on it. I don't believe you. I don't play Pokemon Go anymore, so I'm not sure how this works. Did you just think a wild Lunala was roaming around or is this like an edit? Not all birds are flying types. Not all fairies are fairy types. Not all fish are water types. Yet Charizard isn't a dragon because it doesn't have the dragon type. Why did they get a pass, but Charizard doesn't? I mean, it's like, it's, it's a dragon. 
still. Like, how many dragon specialists teams are is Gyarados on? Exactly two, actually. Um, Claire and Lance. But anyways. Ancient Salamence according to every deck entry ever written. One day I will take to the skies. Wait, what? I don't remember there being any deck entries for Salamence about Salamence itself wanting to fly. I thought it was just talking about Bagon wanting to fly. Salamence came about as a result of a strong, long-held dream of growing wings. It is said that this powerful desire triggered a sudden mutation in this Pokemon's cells, causing it to sprout, magnific sprout its magnificent wings. I don't think that's talking about Salamence. I thought that was talking about Bagon. Bagon sprouted wings or Shellgon. Whatever, like like I said, like that doesn't explicitly stay, say ancient Salamence wanted this. What is this? Uh, I've seen more amusing Pokemon Go overlap things. Am I the only one who sees that the basculine forms make the American flag? America! Uh, but also a, a lot of other flags. Red, white, and blue are extremely common flag colors. <laughs> Blow my mind. Hmm, if we're getting Legends Unova, who's taking us back in time? Ooh. An interesting question. Yeah, if they do more Legends games, which it seems like they intend to, I mean, like, why call it Pokemon Legends Arceus if they were not gonna do more than one? But I don't know what Pokemon in Unova would have the power to send you back in time. Carmen breathes, Pokemon fans, you truly are the lowest scum in history. What? I haven't seen that as much. I mean, she's crazy and like kind of mean, but she softens up. She's funny. How fans treat Kieran. Oh dear, oh dear, gorgeous. How fans treat Carmen, you effing donkey. Yeah, I mean, same thing. They kind of go through opposite arcs. She starts off really mean and then softens up and then Kieran starts like really sweet and shy and then goes a little nuts at the end there. We'll learn a lot more once Indigo Disc comes out. Go on, choose Mikey. Don't make me make impossible decisions. How dare you? I could never choose. The four horsemen of if anything happens to them, I'm committing war crimes. I'm glad you're attached to these Pokemon so much. They are Pokemon though. Their whole thing is engaging in glorious combat. So things will happen to them. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, it worked out. Very jarring though. <laughs> you always act like you're better than me. They are your average starter trio. Grass on water on fire, but actually fire's back there. The Sinnoh starter trio and then the Paldean starter trio. Yep, the opponent using Confuse Ray. I started hitting itself for the third time in a row. Me about to break my Nintendo DS. Dude, people who do competitive Pokemon have brains that are different than mine. I'll just say it. I, hacks is so annoying in Pokemon. Like anything that comes under chance, like missing moves or paralysis or confusion and all, or freeze or like how long you sleep and stuff like that. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I could not do it competitively. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 and that has like a lot of chance. Of course, like, I mean, the central mechanic is dice rolling, but like, there's just so much more that happens. So a bad roll is not necessarily going to like completely screw you. And also I'm not playing against other smart real people. I'm playing against NPCs. <laughs> That's why I like Pokemon against NPCs, but not against real people. I don't get why ice types are weak to steel types. I mean, look at Titanic. We all know who won. <laughs> good point. Ogre Pond is not a good guy. <sighs> She's a good girl. Aw. <laughs> That's sweet. I've only had Kieran for a day, but if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Yeah, he's a he's a sweet kid. He need he needs therapy though. Gibble. Yep. Magikarp and Iron Treads are the same height. Yeah, I don't know why Iron Treads is so small. Like it just reinforces how much better Great Tusk is. Galar champion. I am the undefeated champion of Galar. I see the gym leaders as friends and rivals, not people who are beneath me. And I take an important role of helping the region of Galar. I challenge the legendary Eternatus before anyone else, and I deeply believe in the two young trainers helping me. I love my employees hate me, and she's pretty sketchy and underpaying Larry. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Every legend has a weakness. Samson, Achilles, my hacked Wonder Guard spirit team from Gen 4, Firefang. Fix the meme if you know, you know. Wait, I don't know this. It was a glitch in Gen 4 due to move IDs. Basically, the first turns of Dig, Fly, and Phantom Force were coded to still affect Wonder Guard, so the moves would still work but Fire Fang is right before Phantom Force in the move list, so that effect got put on Fire Fang too. But since it only has one turn, it hits even through Wonder Guard. You can't notice it normally because Shedinja is already weak to fire. Oh, fascinating. She's such a cutie, grass fire type, the cooler grass fire type. Yeah, I saw fan art the other day 
of someone who took and like made a new evolution of Scovillain where it was like a three headed dragon and it like had wings. And I was like, that is a major upgrade because Scovillain kind of looks like a middle evolution. Uh, it needs something more. Is a bird is weak to ground. Yeah, spoiler, whenever Team Sky does the DLC, he might be a little upset about this particular Pokemon. Most people rejected his message. Any list of Pikachu clones must include Mimikyu. Shut up, they hated Jesus because he told them the truth. <laughs> I don't know, man. I only include Pikachu clones that are electric type. Like, I do disagree, and I don't think I'm wrong. Like, Pikachu clone is a fan term, so it's like, it's subjective, but like, a central piece of it is the Pokemon being electric type. Mimikyu is not electric type. Anyone who lumps in Meryl with Pikachu clones is wrong, at least by the definition that I go by. Coridon and Maridon are not legendary. Wait, what? Not legendary because these aren't legendary. That's not how that works. Legendary because these are legendary. Why are these legendary when this isn't legendary? There is literally nothing to imply that if the original version of the Pokemon is legendary, that the new one has to be. Like, that's just not correct. Mikey, I don't do those thumbnail faces. Yeah, I took those photos a while ago. <laughs> I I haven't made those thumbnail faces in a long time. <laughs> we just reuse the pictures. <laughs> I've been taking photos like that recently. <laughs> Besides, Mr. Beast said the new meta is keeping your mouth closed. So I'll just do that. The longer you look, the worse it gets. I've seen this before. And so I'm going to try and name all of them. Uh, they called Rhyhorn Abra, level 366. The HP bar is backwards up there. The experience bar is too far. Rhyhorn's being hit by an electric move, which should be impossible. The Squirtle's red. They called it Zubat. The gender icon is wrong. Level zero, wrong HP bar color. Two out of 222 is not the HP bar's indication. Called him Charmander, said it's using Razor Leaf. The experience bar is also wrong. Maybe there's something else I missed. Maybe the, the male symbol on Abra is a little low, but it's very blurry, so it's hard to see. I don't actually care about type overlap. I mean, basically, type overlap is not the end of everything, of course. It's just a matter of like, the goal is to make a well-balanced team where like, you're not gonna have too many of your team members weak to the same type, and you'll have enough offense to cover most enemy types. Because if you don't do those things, the game becomes harder. A Team Sky contribution. Pokemon, I think, should qualify for Team Sky, but they prog get progressively more unhinged. Ooh. Galarian wheezing. Cleaning sounds. Sir Mans do be levitating, though. <laughs> Literally, he gets the ability. Uh, an eco-conscious lad that cleans the precious sky. I would argue this is not unhinged at all. Fluttermane. Sure looks like wings to me. That's a good point. And they talk about how it, they're like, it's a prehistoric pterodactyl. Garchomp. Yeah, it can fly. It just doesn't do so very often, which is just so strange. Like, does it fly at all in Legends Arceus? I don't think it does in Legends Arceus. I think only in Scarlet and Violet, I think. Like, it's been said for a while that it flies, but it's just strange how little we've seen it do it. Golurk. Golurk is not unhinged at all. That thing can fly. It can learn fly. He is also beauty and grace. The Dunspars. Okay, hold on. Two or three sets of wings. How many do you have, huh? <laughs> He's trying so hard to take to the skies. Hmm, I don't know about this one. Clefairy has wings, it can't fly. Oh, okay, <laughs> Clefable. <laughs> Big ol' wings. They're, they're spikes. <laughs> also, the fact that it learns metronome means that it technically can't, all right. This is, all right, more unhinged was, was right. Jigglypuff? Hmm, what's its category again? Oh yeah, the balloon Pokemon. <laughs> Hey, not all balloons have helium in them. Chandelure? Ne la wait, last time I checked, Chandelure is bolted to the ceiling, the sky of the indoors. <laughs> okay, that's pretty creative. <laughs> he does float, but like, can't learn fly do and doesn't have levitate. Like, th that's kind of the main three things. Levitate, can learn fly, or is actually flying type. Ditto, okay, yes, ditto could, yeah, but like, I don't want to use ditto. <laughs> An event flying Pikachu. <laughs> hey, if ever do a let's go with Team Sky. Just get the partner Pikachu and teach it the, what is it, floaty fall? Am I the only one who sees that the mouse hold forms make the French flag? Oh, it's a surrender joke. The four horsemen of being in a Sinnoh team, I would say switch out Garchomp for Floatzel and then you've got it. I guess you're not gonna use Floatzel if you use Empoleon. I guess that's fair. But like Garchomp is popular, but 
If you're playing Diamond or Pearl, you can't get it till you have strength and you have to go back to Wayward Cave. So you have to know where Wayward Cave is. If you're playing Platinum, you can get there immediately. But like, I don't know about Garchomp, I feel like is the least used of these three. Lucario comes so late and Staraptor and Luxray are the main two for me because they're so early. New Pokemon Direct. They acknowledge that BDSP wasn't well received. No way they would ever do that. <laughs> They're announcing a new game set in Unova. Let's go Gothitelle and let's go Reuniclus. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'd prefer them over a new Legends game? Are you insane? Legends is the best Pokemon game I think that they've just made at all. I don't know, maybe I like it more just cause I'm an adult and it's refreshing to have action in the games, but like, I don't know. Let's go is fun, but it's not the same. Am I the only one who thought about this? I know that, uh, Dialigo is actually intended to look like, not like Lusamine, but like Lily. I haven't connected the other ones with anybody. Like, I don't get this at all, actually. Like some of them are like, oh look, here's like Celesteel is a flying type next to a flying specialist. So, like, <laughs> yeah, Pokemon have types and there are type specialist trainers, but like, why is Kartana next to the Masked Royale? What does Necrozma have anything to do with the male character? And like, Naganatal have anything to do with the female character? Zerkatry is also next to Malane. Zerkatry is electric type and Malane's specialty is steel. What is happening here? Is it just me or would anyone else want to use her as like a Pokemon? No, that would be weird. <laughs> that form of Nihiligo, maybe that form of Nihiligo if she wasn't in there. That'd be strange to use like a person. <laughs> that was also just, I could not believe when I saw that for the first time. And then it was also very strange because she turns into this big powerful beast and then you don't actually fight her at all. She just sends out regular Pokemon. <laughs> It's like, why did you do it? <laughs> Grunt, normal does not mean weak. Pretty sure it does. <laughs> Wait, what is this screenshot from? Why is Keanu Reeves in a tumbleweed? Pokemon Yandere and Tsundere. <laughs> what is, I know a Tsundere is like a, a girl who's like, I guess it doesn't have, is it, is it girl specific? Is it a girl specific term? I'm not true. I'm not sure, I mean, but I know it's like, they like you, but they pretend like they don't. I don't know what yandere means though. Is a portmanteau of two Japanese words. The first is yandere, which means to be sick. And the second is dere dere, used here for love struck. A yandere is often sweet, caring, and innocent before switching to someone who displays an extreme, often violent or psychotic level of devotion to a love interest. Uh, okay. Yep, that, uh, yeah, this works. Like if you say no to Nimona about like being best rivals forever, she's like, well, I didn't hear you, sorry. Like <laughs> Prehistoric Genesect, original dragon, Pokemon black version and white version. What is this from? Oh, three, I see now that that is a three. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see how they handle Unova. Just please don't let ILC develop black and white remakes, please. I really don't want that. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon characters. I've named them Silly, Billy, and Jilly. <laughs> yeah, I did think it was kind of odd they didn't bring any recognizable characters, but I guess I guess I kind of get it because they want the focus to be on the new characters, Carmen and Kieran, and bringing like Penny or Arvin along would distract from that. When Ho-Oh resurrected the three evolutions and turned them into the legendary beast, he based their three their new forms off of three ancient Pokemon. Oh. Also, regular Vaporeon matches up with shiny Suicune and shiny Walking Wake with shiny Vaporeon. Wait, what? Regular Vaporeon matches up with shiny Suicune and shiny Walking Wake, while shiny Vaporeon matches up with regular Walking Wake and Suicune. Okay, I think I get what you're going for. So basically your theory is that when Ho-Oh resurrected the Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon, that died in the fire. It took inspiration from its knowledge of the prehistoric Pokemon like Walking Wake and uh, Raging Bolt. That actually kind of works out. I might be evil, but I'm not going to use child labor. Literally earlier, a 10 year old girl want to join Team Sky? <laughs> I mean, but like, I'm also 10. Never mind. It doesn't work out. Where we just shh, shh, quiet. Nobody look at this. Most people with a time machine. I'm your granddaughter. Really? Me with a time machine? Stop, Mikey. Don't upload the video. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, if you aren't aware, that video is where the drowsy meme started because it's it was a Google translated Dex entry that said, if you sleep with it often, and I figured out that it was drowsy. So John's like, Haha, you sleep with drowsy. Which side are you on? Legendary Quartet or the other one? I mean, I don't have strong feelings about either. Oh, well that's, that's dark. And now it's time for the curated slideshow. God bless Katie. Well, we what a pretty flower. It's me and then unfunny memes swooping in, but Katie saves me, yay. From most of them. There were some upvoted ones I did have to skip today. Wait, 
At least it can't get any better. It doesn't work that way, Gandhi. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was cute. Oh, well, what lovely art. I'm assuming from the green color in the Pokemon selection that you are a member of Team Sky. Fantastic. A Team Pixie Dust theme. This is a throwback. For those of you who never saw the original video, a couple years ago, I came up with an evil team called Team Pixie Dust, which like would only ever use like cute Pokemon and thought ugly Pokemon were to be done away with. Now this is like a good two years at least before I came up with Team Sky. So this is a deep cut and I'm impressed. <laughs> And immediately they nailed it. It's, it's supposed to be kind of silly and upbeat despite the fact that they're bad guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Mikey and Grunty Boy is BFDI characters. Well, that's fun. I don't know what BFDI is, but like it's a cute little face. Not Pokemon related, but I know Mikey loves lizards. I do. So here you go. No way. There's a frill dragon in my yard. Dude, I'm gonna try to pet this without getting bit. Don't easy, do that. Easy, easy, go easy. Of course he's idiot. not gonna bite me. It's just my boy, Squishy. Let's give this little dude something to eat. Okay, I thought, okay, maybe that is just his pet. It was risky to pet it, but that was really cool. Also, I'm sorry, I have to be less festive. This, this cloak is getting warm. <laughs> it may be, uh, Close to Halloween time, uh, but I live in Texas and it has not been fall brisk. <laughs> By the way, quick sidebar here. If you missed it, I launched a new Patreon called John, Michael and Co alongside John, Katie and Tyler, where we have exclusive videos you cannot find anywhere else. Uh, here's a clip from one of them that I think is particularly fun. I don't like the constant like finding out there is out of bounds. Yeah. Oh, 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 I, oh, I got, I got third. My shot was so far. <laughs> Dude, we tied because of a point, point zero six. We're gonna oh my God. first on point zero six. Yep, and then hey, we both. Hey, look yeah. at that. <laughs> if you wanna get some extra content from us and support us at the same time, head to patreon.com slash John Michael and co, linked in the description below. Mikey be like, I am the OG maker of this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. More Pokemon drawings, Vikavolt. Oh, it looks so cool, look at those shades. Grappalot. Well, that, that looks dope. These are so cool. That Aggron is so terrifying. This is that Gigalith. These are just a lot of Pokemon that I like that you redrew in extremely cool ways. That Mars Shadow is sick. Oh, an Umbreon. <laughs> I made some Team Sky fan art. <gasps> the ominous black side of the jacket for Team Night Sky. That's me. That's me with a beard. Uh, Kieran is Ho-Oh confirmed. Yeah, I didn't make the connection till like after, but I was like, why did they suddenly come back to life? And people are talking about how he was holding the teal mask and the teal mask for some reason has the power to resurrect things. Feels like that should have been fleshed out more. But anyways, that's how it happened. Also, can we just talk about how Ogre Pond has like three confirmed kills? <laughs> Kieran in the Indigo Disc, I created you. You created me. Spider-Man, why did you create that guy? <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Random older Team Sky comics. These take place before the good person switch up. There's no rhyme or reason to these comic choices besides their backgrounds are hopefully different enough to tell apart each one. Okay. Team Sky has a whole four members now, so I decided to promote some people to admins. So why should I make you an admin? Oh, uh, well, I'm very reliable, a hard worker, fairly intelligent, the second ever Team Sky member, and more. I'm overqualified, if anything. Uh, I mean, come on, we've been best friends for years. My dad was even the one who made you a trainer. I don't know. I gave the HM for fly once. <gasps> you should have started with that new admin. <laughs> oh, this is a this is another deep cut. Team Arrow, the team I made up when I was a kid, which it was a strange coincidence precursor to Team Sky because I was not thinking about it at all when I came up with Team Sky. Who's ready for dinner? It's time we're having far fetched soup. What? But but far fetched is the best. <laughs> Grunty boys drooling. Yeah, the best dinner. <laughs> That's so messed up. Hey kid, I deserve to be in your evil team. After all, I have a party of the gods. <laughs> How do we go to Paldea? It only has one unique flying type. I mean, there's not many, but there's more than stupid chat art. Eh, wait, 
I what is all the I hate I hate it I hate Wars High Dragon. <laughs> Aldea has one flying type. <laughs> Apparently May hates Flamigo for some reason. Oh, another Saxolot of one. Everyone give a warm welcome to Ogrepot. Wow, I love the mask. Who's your mask guy? You surely aren't wasting any time being chaotic today. Why would I waste time? My antics are what make a great episode. Do stop misspelling words. What I, I was I actually noticed it was misspelled. I thought it was an accident. <laughs> Whatever do you mean, Bulbasaur? I thought they're not supposed to have their fourth wall broken. Oh, vine whip you off this desk. Why? I am allowed, I am talk, I am talking aloud normally. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, should I go? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, another Saxolotl comic. We are eating good today. Night Sky comics and artworks. Okay, maybe this is supposed to be like a flashback for team Night Sky, like after he loses and starts to go down the path of darkness, the steam sky finally becoming truly evil. Going to have to look less incredibly adorable. I've got the perfect thing in mind. Rah, it's so scary now. I mean, that's better, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. May's there too as a as a part cyborg for some reason. Oh look, Bulbasaur gets a gets an outfit too. Huh? Oh, they're so cool and uh, are about to burn things. <laughs> oh. They're burning the headquarters. Oh wait, no. No, they just burned off the S. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're just vandalizing. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. I'll never use a disgusting mill tank. MJ TV plays, 952,000 subscribers. Indeed, as a reminder, once that channel hits a million subscribers, I will do a solo mill tank playthrough despite the fact I hate mill tank. I am trying to bribe you to subscribe. It's a sub bribe. I am willing to subject myself to that unpleasantness to get another plaque. Pick two, they will defend you, the rest are coming to kill you. Wait, what? These are all just, these are all just me? <laughs> Hold on, I feel like whoever made this might have overlooked Mighty because 10,000 Mighty wins all, just wins by itself. Mighty can fly and has super strength. The rest are just me as a person. <laughs> None of these other characters have superpowers, unless we're supposed to assume that like, they also have access to their Pokemon teams, in which case Mighty and the Team Sky leader, Mikey, who has caught a bunch of legendary Pokemon. Like, this is, this is not a hard decision. 10,000 Mighties, I still think they could solo this. Show me the real Team Sky enemy. I said the real Team Sky enemy. I regret, regret my request. Indeed, if you missed, Team Sky opens a gym. All wrong was uh, my nemesis. Kitakami, Kitakami. <laughs> I made another score bunny drawing. He's got such attitude and a cool little hoodie. I dig it. Kieran gave up his catchphrase halfway through the story. Haven't said wowzers for a long time, probably due to grief. <laughs> I I honestly did not commit to memory him saying wowzers even a single time. <laughs> Stupid. A Team Sky application. I'm still trying to think of a name, so let me know if you have any suggestions. Uh, age 18, pansexual, pronouns she, they, constantly defends that Joltik is a Pokemon in the sky because many spiders attach a string of web to something and let the wind take them to another place. Do they really do that? If so, that's an amazing biological fact. I propose the name of Stavina. <laughs> All they popped in my head was Steven. <laughs> Ooh, that's a really cool piece of cast form fan art. Love to see it get the love it deserves. I prefer the real Pokemon Master of Disguise. I said the real Master of Disguise. Perfection. <laughs> Katie is Iono. Since when is Iono so good at disguise? If she really was, she should have done that in her gym challenge. That's just Iono. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> and why'd you put Iono at the end? <laughs> the comments, they passed the vibe check. My Team Sky application. My team is Rowlet, Noivern, Shaman, Skyform, and Fletchender. I would have added Miss Magius and Coridon, but they're too hard to draw. <laughs> uh, accepted immediately. Reggie Chair. Oh, I hate that I even smiled at that. Ooh, his name is whatever Mikey chooses. Bloop. Um, he acts as an engineer helping Pokemon with hurt wings and developing field tech like wings for members. He's also working on a fix for Mightyena. I respect him. Thank you, Bloop, for your engineering work. I was watching first to catch a legendary from every gen wins. I heard PM7 classified Pokemon by Squeak or Squawk. <laughs> this is version one of the Squeak Squawk tier list. Wow, that's insane. My friend's application to Team Sky. She and Pi Day Night. Doctor Fuse and all day and night's daughter. Oh, okay. You are missing an you are missing an I. It's day and night. That's why I was a little confused. Wait, who this girl's the daughter of Dr. Fuse? That has always been more interested in the sky. <laughs> Dr. Fuse would be furious. 
She heard about Team Sky and set out to join. She has a team of all legendaries with Maridon and her ace. Oh, as her ace. It keeps her shiny Ivryon that her father gave her as her partner by her side. Oh, it's a fusion Pokemon, duh. I was like, what is an Ivryon? It's Eevee and Umbreon. I like it. I like the, the crossover in the cinematic universe. Ogre Pond and Majora's Mask, that's adorable. <laughs> Indeed! Hey, fun little pixel art team scan! That's exactly what I do, but better. Correct. We're gonna be stealing these ogres' masks, okay? Oh, come off it, Monkey Dory. Ooh, go go, a Team Sky admin. At Togedomaru, y'all y'all getting liberal with your Team Sky Pokemon, but fine. <laughs> it's Perrin! She's so cute. I'm really normal about her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, that, that phrasing was just funny. Uh, yeah, the pics I took of the bear that I traveled across the world to see didn't turn out. Oh, well. Okay, I don't know, parent. Maybe turn around. <laughs> like, girl, I'll just send him out. I caught him. Like, <laughs> would you look at them navels? Okay. <laughs> Stop. He's already dead. Everyone just ruining Kieran's day. <laughs> Is it worth it? Defeat Kieran. Get Ogre Pond. Make Kieran sad boy. Make Kieran sad boy. Yeah, I would have just given him Ogre Pond. I mean, maybe just let me catch it, get it in the decks, and then give it to him. I heard some kid became friends with Ogre Pond. I'll bet it was Kieran. Aw, it's so sad. I beat a champion level trainer with two unevolved Pokemon. Don't you to hush, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that happened to me. I picked a bad time to swap my team out. That's Mr. Dr. Professor Ogre Pond for you, friend. Oh. Oh, this is an OC I drew for Team Sky. His name is Stratos. He's a pilot with an addiction to speed, uh, addiction to going fast, and adrenaline. He modeled his suit after seeing Rayquaza flying in the sky and decided he wanted to soar the, the air as well. His ace Pokemon is a ninjas named Valstrax. Whoa. Doesn't care how strong a Pokemon is as long as it goes fast. He's also the coffee boy of Team Sky. <laughs> Even though oftentimes he goes so fast back and forth, he ends up spilling the drinks when the staff complains. The response is just, well, yeah, I dropped him, but I got him here fast. He's not entirely sure of what the actual goal of Team Sky is, but he's happy to be here. That's fun. The helmet is really cool. Look how ominous I look. Me entering a Masuda hunt. Here we go. Responsibilities. <laughs> Me and friend watching Aspid of Pie to see if there are meme. If our meme. Oh, wrong. Okay. To see if our meme made it on. Well, congratulations. It did. Arvin. What? Nothing. From Kalos, ex-member of Team Flare. <gasps> I recruited an ex-Team Flare member from Tostic. Go Team Sky! What a good team. Quick chaotic sketch of Mikey, John, and their lovely editors because I wanted to see John stealing something. From okay, all right. The spelling is, the effort to do it wrong is funny. Mikey trying to get it back, but failing because he's a bit shorter than John. It is only a bit. I am six feet tall. Tyler trying to make it, Trying to take it from John and Katie tried to chill, but interrupted by them. This is very cute. I like that we all have something that indicates our favorite Pokemon <laughs> or one of our favorites. <laughs> John and Michael, when Katie quizzes them about Taylor Swift. Hey, I got, I got a quest. I've been following the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift stuff closely. If there's football connected, I'm better. Are you going to sleep? Yes, I am now. Shut up. If Pokemon's in Japanese and why is it unknown based off the English alphabet? Um, I don't know. Maybe because there's just way fewer symbols? No to cheap imitation. Yes to masterpieces. Cheap imitation? How dare you. Well, anyways, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon <laughs> Meme Review. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, that's all I have for now. So until next time, big events. Gotta catch them all.